So there's quite a few robotic exoskeletons on the market at the moment. And although there's a lot of devices on the market, there's very little research. So most of the research to date has been looking at um, whether people like the device and whether patients like it and whether it has any safety implications with its use, rather than looking at health-related outcomes. We're looking at people who have severe impairment in their ability to move and to walk um, and seeing whether exercising within the exoskeleton device can improve things such as mood and quality of life and function. So yeah, the first time standing, I was pretty blown away. Um, and then we slowly build up each session I started to do squats and then some lunges um, and some leg swings and then eventually um, taking some steps in it which are very jerky and very robotic but it feels incredible. I don't have um, feeling or movement below my chest so I thought that it would just be this sort of like an out-of-body experience where I'm kind of just standing there and everything's moving but I have no idea what's going on but it's actually the opposite. I can feel the pressure going um, through my heels um, internally and every step that I take it's like my body's trying to switch on and I can feel the movement side to side. My body is better sitting upright. I'm able to sit now independently which is something that I was never able to do so I think it's helping with the stability. Hopefully I can improve on a couple of other little things even if it is just a little bit more strength in the upper body. If I pressed the joystick forwards, it would swing forwards first. If I pressed the joystick backwards, it would swing backwards first. And I can also take it to the side, so you can do a leg swing to the side, so I'd have to push the joystick to the side. And the joystick also gives you a menu of options of the speed you move at um, and, and whether you're using the exercise functions. So the device has exercises built into it as well. So we're hoping that the data that we collect will be able to inform the development of future exoskeletons. So it really is in its infancy and most of the devices that have been developed have been developed by engineers quite just separate to the needs of therapists and patients. And their goals are all around marketing, whereas our goal is around rehab and health outcomes. So it's really important that research can bring those two teams together to help the development of future robotic devices so that both of those needs are met. So if they were able to develop something like this, that meant that you didn't have to have an operation um, of any sort and you were just able to wake up in the morning and slot on the suit, that would be wild it would be yeah amazing very um futuristic like but yeah it'd be cool